Essentially, my talk was about racial biases and how that can unconsciously undermine a black patient's care. My issue for my senior topic is sexism in video games. My topic is about the lack of access that women, specifically women of color, have to reproductive health care services. So the capstone project is the culmination of a full year of students identifying a research question on something that they're deeply passionate about, um, doing research on those topics, and then writing a research paper and doing a presentation in front of an authentic audience. The Graduate Capstone is really trying to find a way to engage kids in deeper levels of learning and give an authentic assessment of how they're going to engage in real world problems as they transition out of high school. But I really wanted to focus on black patients because they have dealt with so much. It was something different and it was something that I really wanted to do, not just as teacher. It was like, this is what we're going to do and you know, you better just do it. And I was like, no, I, I love this topic, might as well, you know, I'm going to put in all my effort. Well, I gave her a four for clear and original argument and clear reasoning that was convincing, but I gave her a two for partially addressing alternatives, uh, a turn, uh, opposing alternatives and perspectives. So I averaged four and two and got three. <laughs> what we were really trying to do with the Capstone Project was ensure a level of equity across the system by agreeing on a set of common rubrics. Let's try to create a common understanding of what high quality instruction looks like so that the instruction and the learning experiences the students have leading up to that point prepare them in order to be successful at that level. I looked at that rubric that Young Wan brought to us and it had organization as a skill and that's actually when I came to you. I had my moment of truth and I was like, I don't know if I can grade kids on organization because I used to tell them how to organize it. The skills they are looking to grade were things that we were often coming in and supporting the students a little bit too much on. And we would be unable to truly evaluate students. We were only evaluating for compliance. So I think the rubric prompted us to think deeply about what kind of scaffolding we're doing so that you would see a range of performances across the rubric. I think we really pushed you to dive deeper into your topic. And to me, these things that we that we oh, got to do yeah. made that experience so much richer. Oh, and so I, just, I appreciate it as a... As a as an audience member, like I just learned a lot more today. So thank you for teaching me. I've gotten a lot of feedback from people that say that this is something that's great for small schools, but it probably won't work in a large comprehensive high school. It's a valid concern if you keep high school in its traditional format, but if you reshape the format of what high school is about, a lot more things are possible than what people usually expect. So there's a certain civic duty that needs to come from our community. So Kennedy has always had a really powerful voice. So she's doing like reproductive health care for women. Um, and it was something, I mean, she would sit in class and research and like almost like literally like shout out like, oh my gosh, I can't like, what, Miss Howard, look at this. Like, I can't believe this is happening. So last summer I was a part of HEAL and it was a six week internship at Highland Hospital. You can hear about a disparity or watch a documentary on it, but actually witnessing it and being like in the thick of it really told me that I need to bring light to this topic. So I've taken on the civic duty part of my project. Yeah, so what, if you were principal of the school, like when and, and where would students get sex ed? I think that it should be put onto a K through 12 scale. So One of the ways I see our young people grow and develop it, develop through the, the senior project uh, process is confidence. They don't believe that they can stand up in front of a group of adults and present their findings and their research. And, and, and it's just an amazing um, journey that you see uh, our young people go on to get to the point where they can say, I've completed my senior project, I've, I've done my presentation. It's an eye-opening experience. Like you, you, just, you just learn so much. It's more than just like reading from a textbook, right? Because you need to be an expert. I don't want the project to end here, you know? I want to uh, continue to take the knowledge that I've um, learned for myself and put it out into the world so that other people may learn about it and then we can start to help solve the problem. One of our key goals in OUSD is to ensure that every graduate is college, career, and community ready. And performance-based assessment and the graduate capstone is one of the key levers we're going to use to get students there. You did amazing, and you should be super duper proud. And we're also very proud of you. And congratulations! <laughs>